top tips for getting a great deal on a house in DFW. Okay, there's a, there's a lot of ways to go about this. One of the best ways is to identify properties that are not being publicly marketed, right? So what do I mean by that? We are, not in every scenario, but in many scenarios, back into a fairly competitive market for listings, right? So mm -hmm. if you find a house on Zillow or realtor.com, or if you're brilliant and you're searching for homes, at dallashomerealty.com or todtramaniteam.com. If you find that house there, generally speaking, everyone else can find that house there as well. So just from a purely competitive standpoint, more eyeballs on it, more showings on it, more offers on it, right? Now, if Susan and Bob have their house that they're willing to sell, but it's not advertised on the internet and only one or two people know that and they tell you about it, you have a much higher likelihood of getting that home at a better price that Bob and Susan are not likely to have a ton of showings and a bunch of offers. Now, that's not always the case, but the odds are in your favor in that scenario. So finding homes that are not publicly marketed, super competitive is a wise approach. Sometimes that is potentially talking to a for sale by owner with an agent on your side. Now, there are other ways to do that. One of them that seems really, really counterintuitive right now, not letting interest rates keep you from buying a home right now. Believe it or not, that's a financially advantageous approach to the market because at some point in the long-term future, that rate has a very high likelihood of moving back down and prices, although they are still growing right now, are growing at a much slower pace than they otherwise would based on the actual market and economic activity, when meaning supply and demand. There's also a chance that interest rates could go up, right? There so Because we don't know what the future is going to hold. So yeah. you might be locking in the best rate that you might see for the next couple of years. We just don't know. Well, and you said it really well for the next couple of years, next 18 months or so, they, they could creep up a little bit. I was actually at an event where there were three different speakers from three different world renowned financial institutions, including Goldman Sachs and others just last week. They were almost in lockstep on their forecast that the next 12 to 18 months will continue to be kind of up and down and all around and fairly volatile. But there's a strong belief within that time frame, if not soon after, we will probably see mortgage rates come back down a bit. Many people hear that and they're like, great, I'll wait for that. What I'm saying is a smart buyer strategy is to go ahead and buy now while lots of other buyers are thinking that, get a better deal on the house. Yes, you might pay a slightly higher rate for a year or 18 months or two years, maybe even three or four years. And then at a later date, free up some cash flow with a refinance, all the while have created equity. And when rates come down, those prices will go up. And I'm not sure you will have gained anything. New builds is a great opportunity and, and, and there's more ways to define new builds than, than you may think. For the first time in a long time, we have home builders, professional home builders with inventory on the ground. Meaning we have built a house and it has not already sold. You could buy it and move into it in the next 30 to 60 days. Instead of buy a lot, choose a couple features or not, and then wait a year to 15 months, right? We're talking brand new house, no one's ever lived in it that you could get into in the next 60 days or so. And those builders are offering some pretty juicy incentives to buyers right now. Those builders are, will, are willing to contribute dollars so that you could buy your interest rate back down into a really favorable place, cover some closing costs. They're incentivizing with upgrades and finish outs and things like that, like they do in a market where they're a little hungrier. And uh, between you and me, I'll whisper it, I don't think they necessarily need to be doing that right now. So I think that's going to go away again here pretty soon. And again, tip for a buyer, go take advantage of that while you can. Almost in a full 100, 360 degree ring around the, the Metroplex, if you're willing to go say 40 minutes out from the centers in almost every direction, you can find brand new on the ground construction under 300,000. I'll mention one other thing because I teased it. The other way to think about new construction is building a, a custom home. Right now we've seen land prices and construction prices kind of plateau a little bit where they were just skyrocketing before. So if, if ever you've dreamed of building something custom, buying a lot, tearing down a house maybe, doing some infill construction, kind of creating your dream scenario, buy a couple acres, build on that. We talked to a lot of people about that. Now's a great time to do that as well because I think the pricing on all those is going to shoot back up again in what, we don't know that timeline, but in the next one to three years, I really feel confident that people are going to wish they had bought now.